Welcome to my let's play of uh, Microsoft Flight, the new free-to-play uh, flight simulator. Uh, I don't want to join the consumer experience program, thank you. Um, yeah, it's, it's the kind of the successor of uh, Flight Simulator. Um, here's the main menu. Oh, you can buy some, d some, some content already. The Hawaiian Adventure Pack. A mall M7 260C Orion. There, are something with arrow co uh, arrow cages. Website arrow cage and the P51 Warbird. All right, let's just look into the options. I've set up everything already. Everything's high except scenery quality. If I put everything on maximum, uh, it'll crash. So, but it'll do for now. Uh, gameplay. I've deactivated the stability, smooth braking and propeller effects, but I kept the auto mixture because, uh, well, I'm not that lead, and uh, toying around with the mixture isn't fun for me. Okay, rest is on, audio, everything's on, uh, game controls, flight controls. Now, I, I wanted to, to look in here to see if there's a if there's an actual option to, to activate force feedback because um, as of now there's no force feedback even though my Microsoft Sidewinder force feedback 2 is uh, set up properly well at, at least I think it is because I've, I've uh, well I've, I've reinstalled Windows 7 recently and I haven't bothered with looking for special drivers I just plugged it in and uh, well it doesn't work that well no force feedback. Okay, let's get out of here and play the game so you can see how it runs. The mandatory hint, nice loading screen. And look the bar how it feels. Waiting, 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 and there we are. The did a great job learning second basics. mission. Listen, I got a special lesson lined up. Your first water landing and a party. All right. I need a ride Let's out to this. a friend's wedding. It's out in the bay on a yacht. They've already set sail, so the only way to get out there is in the icon. I like this plane. It looks like Take a look around this cockpit. from out of Blade Runner or something. Almost like a car. Yeah, that's the cockpit. Now center your view. Nice. Well, it, it really looks good. Um, center view. When you're ready, just push the throttle forward for takeoff. Okay, I sh looks like I don't have to worry about flaps or anything. Just full throttle. Okay. Props. Now pull back smoothly on the stick to lift off the runway. Okay. I'm off the runway. That was easy. Now we're flying. I'm flying! Oh my god, I'm flying! I can't Go believe this! Gear. Climb straight out to 500 feet. Alright. I like the yard up there. Futuristic, but it's actually quite useful and uh, easy to read. But you can also just watch the cockpit instruments. 400 feet and 500 feet. Good. Now throttle back to 5,500 RPM or about 90% and maintain this altitude. Now turn to a heading of 340. You can see our heading change on the display on the top of the screen and on the GPS in the cockpit. I like these All right, we're on hot symbols. Just kind of waiting a lot on sound. The along the coast. But it's a uh, civil flight sim. No shooting. Currently, you're in cockpit view. This view enables you to manipulate the controls in the cockpit. Why don't you check out the various other oh. views while we have a little time? 
It's a great way to gain perspective. Take up the cockpit. Quite nice. Set the map. Ooh, I could turn off the ignition. All right, let's do the let's do the view. Chase view gives a good Chase sense of the view. flight path of the aircraft. In flyby view, you can watch your aircraft fly past. Free look allows you to easily look at your surroundings. Yep, it's free, and I'm looking. Does what it says. Top-down view is helpful for finding your way around an airport. Ah. Okay, enough looking around. Let's get to the yacht. If you want to save some time, activate the skip to waypoint command. It'll take us right to the yacht. You'll see this command in most missions, and you can use it at any time when a skip is active. Okay, we can skip to waypoints now, kind of like in, in Wing Commander or Strike Force. That was nice. I'll try it out. Okay, if we skip to the waypoint, there's a loading screen. Now, I don't know if you can see the overlay I activated by accident, because it's that uh, looks like the yacht we're I set it to. on the F12 key. Fly past the yacht to set up for uh, a landing. Constant 30 frames per second, which is quite nice. Uh, especially since I'm recording People at the same time. Make sure they see us. That'll let them know that they should stop the boat so we can land. Okay, let's do Pull the uh, throttle back as we low descend, pass. So we don't get going too fast. Strafe them with some imaginary machine gun fire. And uh, pretend we're starting World War II, uh, at least from the American perspective. Do, 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 do. I don't crazy jump on these guy! Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm not. And I guess that was kind of stereotypical. Great, it looks like they saw racist, us. and I apologize Head north for that. to put some room between us and the yacht. We'll need that space to land. Okay, I need to set up for landing. And, uh, yeah, well, it's, it's, it's really thrilling. Really, really thrilling to watch, I guess. Well, but I record this video. You clicked on it to watch it, so Keep going a you're the loser, further. not me. Okay, I need to go further! 0.8 nautical miles. Oh, there I go. This is far enough. Okay, turn around back towards the yacht. Let's turn around. Okay. Engaging full lock Okay, now and, uh, we just need to gently descend and slow down to 60 knots for the landing. Bring the throttle back to 25% or 2500 RPM and use the elevator controls to adjust your speed. Raise the nose to slow down or lower the nose to speed up. I like how the RPMs are kind of uh, directly related. This is a good airspeed for landing. To throw the percentage. Try to land like about oh no, 7,000 RPM, not 10,000. Not too so. close. We don't want to hit it. Throttle back to idle and let the aircraft settle onto the water. Okay. Now we're water landing. Idling, idling, idling. Okay, I'm at the brink of stalling, but. Okay, nice touchdown. Congratulations Yay. on your first water landing. I'm gonna bring us in close so we can get on the yacht without getting wet. Look at me! I landed on water. Thanks for helping me get out to the wedding. And I won a coconut bra. Now that's fashionable. And my best score is... 1600 XP. Maximum score! Yeah, mission complete. Except. Welcome to Microsoft Flight. Ah. Use flight tips and follow the highlighted icons to discover what Microsoft Flight has to offer. If you complete all the flight tips, you'll receive a new aircraft paint scheme. All right. So this is kind of missions are activities that allow pilots to test their abilities. The main gameplay menu. New missions menu. are displayed on the map, and completed missions can be accessed through the mission list. Well. But what I don't get is, uh, in, in the menu it says I can buy Hawaii, but... Now, I might 
be wrong, but the distinct shape of the island and this little text here saying Hawaii kind of suggests that I am already on Hawaii, so why would I pay, uh, pay for it? Well, doesn't matter. I'm off. See ya!